Hello and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today it is all about how to grow and care for the Agave Franzosini. Agave Franzosini is a magnificent evergreen perennial that grows in a rosette of thick, beautifully arching, powdered blue-gray leaves with spiny edges. Typically, it appears as a single, large rosette of leaves that undulate and bend beautifully. It is a large, slow-growing agave plant native to Mexico. It's usually grown as an outdoor feature in gardens because of its large, attractive foliage and flowers. It has thick, glaucous green leaves that can grow quite long and have teeth along their edges. The leaves form a rosette, overlapping each other at their bases. The plant produces large yellow flowers on an extremely tall spike. It serves as an excellent main feature in desert gardens. Agave franzosini is a beautiful succulent plant and one of the easiest to care for. Amateurs and professionals alike will find this agave an excellent addition to their landscape. Majestic agave is a succulent plant that requires full sun to thrive, but can tolerate some shade. If you want to grow your agave indoors in hot, dry climates, choose a location with plenty of natural light. South or southeast facing window works great. Full sun, or at least six hours of direct sunlight most days, is what these plants like. However, they can tolerate some shade. It is a drought-tolerant plant, so water it sparingly. Water thoroughly when the soil is bone dry to about one inch deep, and then allow it to lose water again before the next session. Water this plant in the spring when the top inch of soil is completely dry. Keep the soil from drying out completely. Water it extremely sparingly during the winter and fall when growth is suspended. Too much water may result in root rot or pale, flop leaves. Overwatering is the root cause of most problems these succulents face, and preventing it from happening will ensure your agave's long and healthy life. The ideal temperature range for agave franzosini is between 55 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. It can survive in cooler temperatures, but will grow more slowly. Consider relocating your plant to a warmer spot if your house is consistently cool. You should keep humidity above 40% for your plant to thrive. There is no need to increase moisture as the humidity in your home should be high enough to keep your plant healthy. Agapes grow slowly and are long-lived, which makes them relatively independent from fertilizers. At most, you should fertilize them once every six months with a standard balanced fertilizer. Use a slow-release fertilizer to ensure your plant does not get too leggy or tall. Avoid fertilizing in winter as the plant will not grow much at this time and the roots will not absorb your fertilizer. Apply organic fertilizer to young plants to support root development and healthy growth. Fertilize potted plants sparingly because the pots contain all the nutrients. Majestic agave can be easily propagated from offshoots. It is the fastest and most reliable method of agave plant propagation. These plants produce offshoots from the base of the mother plants that can be easily removed to begin the process of reproduction. To grow from offshoots, simply cut the offset from the mother plant. Allow the cut end to heal and callus over before replanting. Plant the offset in a new container filled with a well-draining potting medium. Water sparingly and keep in a warm, humid environment until new growth begins to show. These plants can also be propagated from seeds. You can produce a large number of plants quickly with this method. A moist sterile soil mix containing equal parts per light and sphagnum peat is ideal for germinating seeds. The soil must stay lightly moist until the plants are established. Use a clear plastic covering to maintain humidity for two to three weeks until the seeds sprout. Majestic agave should be repotted when the plant becomes too large for its pot and the roots start encroaching on neighboring plants. When you do so, use a container that is bigger than the one before. Use a clay or terracotta pot. Use light, sterile potting soil with plenty of perlite or vermiculite added. 
These ingredients will help aerate the soil and provide good drainage. Use a combination of soil and pebbles to fill up the extra space around your plant. Place the pot in a warm, sunny area protected from wind and rain. Remove the plant from its old pot. Use a trowel or shovel to loosen the soil, then gently pull it out. If the roots have grown through the drainage holes, cut them off with pruning shears. Set the plant in a new container. Place some pebbles into a new container, then set the plant upright on top of them. Fill in around the roots with more well-draining potting soil, ensuring there are no air pockets. Water until it begins to drain from the bottom. Majestic agave is mildly toxic with sap that can cause skin irritation and inflammation. These plants are susceptible to agave snout weevils, scale insects and slugs, and snails. The agave snout weevil is a common pest of it but gave franzosini. The snout weevils lay eggs inside the plant, and when the young hatch, they eat their way out of the leaves and into other nearby plants. Scale insects are small, hard-bodied insects with a round shape. They attach themselves to the leaf surface and suck out the sap, which causes leaves to become discolored and die back. Use neem oil or horticultural oil to treat the affected areas. Slugs and snails feed on the plant's leaves, stems, and roots. Set poison bait or sticky traps around your yard to control these slimy pests. Overwatering, overfertilizing, and frost burn are the most common problems of majestic agave. Overwatering your plant can cause root rot. Try to water only when the top inch of the soil is dry. If you have an established plant that seems to be wilting, even though you haven't watered it lately, check the soil for moisture before watering again. Overfertilizing can cause your plant to experience stunted growth and become disease prone. To avoid this, only fertilize once a year at the beginning of the growth phase. Then use half the recommended dosage to reduce the chance of overfeeding even further. Frost burn occurs when the plant is left outside during cold weather and freezes. If your plant has experienced frost burn, cut off dead growth as soon as possible to limit its spread.